Take everything you know about one of the best AV receiver manufacturers currently in the game, and one of the longest running, most storied audio companies there is, and start to bring it up to some serious levels of legitimate hi-fi cred. That's precisely what we get with the Denon AVR6700H. It has all the convenience and great features that we remember from every other Denon receiver that we've covered. However, it takes all that and adds in one really awesome change, mono style amplifiers, thus giving you a surround sound receiver that's got a little bit of legitimate hi-fi cred to it. Even the stereo guys are gonna find something to like in this unit, and that includes me too. So let's talk about how Denon does it in the 6700H. However, before we get into the nitty gritty of it, don't forget to subscribe to the Gramophone channel and click that bell notification icon right down there so you don't miss out. Question of the day, are you more a stereo and two channel kind of person or more like a home theater and surround sound kind of person? Let me know down in the comments. Denon's been making products forever, some of the most reliable, some of the most well known. They are absolute pioneers in the field of music and stereo, home audio, hi-fi, all of the categories that we care about. And now they're one of the undisputed kings, if not the best in the world of home theater receivers, and for good reason. And it's not to say that other receivers aren't great. No, many are. But there's something about the Denon and Marantz family products that just gets the whole formula right. So now I wanna tell you guys about what Denon's got going under the hood of this product. Unlike the products that are lower in the stack compared to this one and up, this product is made in Japan in the actual famous Denon Shirakawa factory. Some of the best audio products in the world have come out of that factory, and Japan has always been known not only for its just general electronics prowess, but in the world of audio, just making some of the best stuff there's ever been. As far as your digital features go, you've got a lot of HDMI inputs in this box. One of those is HDMI 2.1 for 8K at 60 Hertz pass through, or for 4K at 120. So this will play nice with a new PS5 or Xbox One X. Though if you get a PS5, there is one extra part you need, but Denon and Marantz will send you that for free, so you may reach out to them. One of the HDMI outs is also going to be 8K slash 4K 120 compatible, and that port is also capable of eARC, or Enhanced Audio Return Channel. Whereas the previous standard of ARC was a little wishy-washy, eARC has been really good. Though, of course, some of that audio quality will be dependent on the stream itself, as most streams aren't lossless yet. But it is nice to know that the hardware capability is already in this receiver. On top of that, you have your legacy digital connections like coaxial in for a separate streaming box or a CD player. Though you have a great streamer built in with the Hughes platform, but hey, you can do whatever you want and they welcome it. But the coax tends to work really well for CD players. So if you still got a nice CD collection and you wanna hook it up, do it. Also, you've got optical in to work as a nice legacy connection for TVs as well. If you can't go the HDMI route of audio, use optical, still works great. There's a lot of stereo RCAs on here, so you can connect a ton of analog audio devices. And there's even a built-in phono stage for doing moving magnet phono cartridges on your turntable. The other thing separating this product, in the more simple feature set that is, is the number of channels that it gives you. This is an 11-channel receiver. You can do an actual 7.2, .4 Atmos system on this. I think for most people, in most rooms, that 11 channels is probably the best position to be with Atmos right now. Four overheads, seven bed channels, and two subs. I actually think that delivers the most value in Atmos. And so I really like products that can do at least 11 channels because I think that's where it is right now. And it takes some engineering prowess to be able to do that without just causing, for lack of a better word, chaos. And part of this is because of the quality of amp that you get when you get to a product like the 6700. This has separate amplifier boards for every single channel, and they're all fed by a serious power supply in this unit. It's not a toroidal power supply as Denon prefers EL designs, but this particular one is the one that Denon happily slaps their name on. Take notice of that. And this receiver channels have noticeably better separation, better black levels, a little more clarity, a little bit more detail, and it all just adds up to a better listening experience. The other thing that comes with that is even if you don't want to use all 11 channels, this becomes a very beastly five channel receiver because you can set this unit to buy amplify, as in to use 10 amplifiers, giving two to each channel. And if you have speakers capable of being bi amped, now you're getting a really good division of power and signal into your speakers and it takes it to the next level. But the real benefit is in separation. 
Now you have one amp just worried about bass frequencies. Now you have one amp just worried about your mids and high frequencies. And it just furthers the ability of your speaker to separate those and give you a better mix where things become more detailed, soundstage improves, and the difference between instruments and objects in the song becomes more apparent. It's capable of doing all the popular surround formats that you see today, like Dolby Atmos, Dolby True HD Atmos, the real one that's uncompressed, DTSX, DTS Neural X, which is the upscaling engine. This can also do Auro. Auro is a really cool new codec that I really recommend you experiment a little bit with because it's really cool what it does with just the spatiality of some things. That's a very exclusive feature that's often not found on many other products and sometimes you actually have to pay extra for it, but it's included here. And even for the more simple things like older Dolby 5.1 or DTS 5.1, you know, all the legacy formats, they're here too. If you're looking for the best value in full Atmos receivers at around $3,000 with all of the features to match, good build quality, and just an objectively good overall sound, especially for a singular unit before you get into the worlds of separates, are very bespoke receivers, the Denon X6700H would be for you. And you can pick these up on Sky by Gramophone, link will be down below, or come here one in our showroom locations. You'll find us in Columbia, Timonium, and Gaithersburg, Maryland. We also have a kitchen design center in Hunt Valley that would love to help you with your next interior design project. All right, guys, let me know if you enjoyed this video. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Down in the comments, don't forget about the question of the day, and please let me know what you want to see me review in the future. Thank you for watching. Be seeing you.